Hey guys, this is Mike Harris again, and today I'm going to show you a cool tool I found to automate a lot of your uh, little tasks, like dealing with social media, your email, your RSS feed, uh, things like that, you know, Facebook, Twitter, and it was called IFTTT.com, or in other words, it would be if then, then that, or if this then that which means like if you post to Facebook then it will automatically post to Twitter or if you po like have your RSS feed then it will automatically send it to your email or uh, things like that so I'm already logged in here so I'm gonna go to what I call they're called recipes and they're like different combinations of what you want uh, specific uh, social media site or your email or um, other things like that what you want them to do like right here I have currently have 11 personal recipes and they're all turned on and I scroll down here you see one that says if YouTube then uh, bit lie and it's like add a public bitmark and if you most of you know what bit lie is I'm not gonna go into uh, a lot of detail but it's like a link shortening website that you can use to shorten a lot of your links and okay let me go to the next one this is actually a clock and it says if at every hour then Twitter so you can actually set it up to uh, post like every I say 15 30 minutes 45 minutes you actually set it to post a, a tweet every um, 15, 30, 45 minutes. So you can actually set up multiple ones like this. I mean, there's other tools out there, but this is a good tool as well. So you go to the next one is if Facebook, then I call it Digo. And if RSS feed, you'll send my RSS feed to, to Digo, whichever RSS feed you decide to highlight and put put in there, it will send that to Digo. So it could be from your uh, your blog, um, your YouTube channel, you know, stuff like that. And then I have some other combinations, like if YouTube then sends it to Tumblr. If I do a Facebook link, a uh, new link post, it'll send it to Tumblr and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and get started in showing you how to create an actual recipe so what you do is you just go to create a recipe computer's moving a little slow today okay then it's going to uh, send you this going to say create a recipe and it's going to say if this then that and then you're going to click on this link right here and as you can see it says choose trigger channel and you have I believe 59 different channels to choose from so you have app.net you have bitly uh, blogger you know package tracking buffer buzzfeed craigslist uh, delicious digo dropbox you know facebook evernote I'm hearing that's starting to become a very popular one if it's not already uh, Etsy you got your feed Flickr Foursquare Gmail I mean you just have multiple ones Instagram uh, Tumblr YouTube uh, phone call I haven't used that one yet uh, Vimeo it's like kind of like YouTube you know you can post your video so every time you have a uh, post a video to Vimeo you can actually send it to Facebook or something like that so I'll just do a simple one so I'll do like okay Facebook and then right here is going to give you choose a trigger that you want to use and it's going to say new status message by you and this trigger is going to fire every time you create a new status message on Facebook so you have to be careful with that because if you're just talking like posting with your friends or whatever you're just talking about simple stuff you're doing out throughout the day then you don't really want to have people 
see everything like that like okay I ate at this restaurant you know stuff like that but if you're posting like a new link uh, post by you then it'll fire every time you decide you post a new link so it could be a link to a webinar or a link to a landing page you know stuff like that and then you have another one that says new photo uploaded by you um, every time you upload a new fo photo and Facebook is going to whatever you choose the other landing spot to be that's where it's going to send that link as well or it's going to send that new photo uh, your profile changes and then you have uh, when you're tagged in a photo so I'm going to go ahead and pick new link posted by you okay and then it's going to say no fields to complete it's going to say create trigger so you click create trigger and it says if Facebook new if you post a new link on Facebook then you click this link that and then once again you're met with all these um, different um, social media sites uh, email stuff like that and you actually have one where you could use Hootsuite if you have an account with them you have Google Talk, you have so many different uh, options to use, so I'll just pick a simple one, like uh, everybody knows Twitter, what Twitter is. So, I had, if Facebook, if I post a new link on Facebook, then you have the option of posting a tweet, posting a tweet with an image, or you can add user to list. Or you can up, uh, update your bio, you know, stuff like that, or update profile picture. I would like to pick post a tweet because it makes the most sense in this scenario. So, okay, and then right here it says complete action field. Most of the time it should be already set up for you. It says post a tweet, and then it says what's happening, and then you have your message, whatever you posted on Facebook, and then it'll be followed by whatever link you post it <clears throat> and if you're keeping that in mind that uh, Twitter only takes like 140 characters so make sure if you're posting to Facebook make sure that <clears throat> your status your post is not more than 140 uh, characters so you can add actually add more right here it'll say you can put created by or link URL if you want or link title you know message description I mean excuse me link description or create a date which you really don't have to add if you don't want to because these are already set for you <clears throat> excuse me and then you hit create action and this is if a uh, new link post by on Facebook then it's going to post a tweet to your account and if you don't have an account set up with Twitter or whatever, which one you decide to choose, it's going to prompt you to uh, make sure that you uh, set up that account. So right here, you can actually put in uh, tags to add to your recipe if you uh, decide to do so. I mean, I, you don't necessarily have to, but if you know more about tags and you're more familiar with them then I encourage you to do so and then after that you hit create recipe and then it should show up on your personal recipes list and then you have if Facebook then Twitter and they have other ones you can actually go to which is pretty cool because they have it's like a community of people who've created their own uh, personal recipes and you may actually get better ideas from a lot of these guys so you can actually uh, see what they uh, what type of uh, recipe they've made and you can kind of sort it by what's hot what's new what's popular and they'll actually have it like details say um, star a gmail send us to evernote you know email me with breaking football news so there's like every time ESPN has an update on football or whatever it's gonna email this person 
Um, you have one that says save all my recipes on Google Drive. It's email me 10 things to know this morning. Like, it's a bunch of different combinations of uh, recipes that you can use for your own personal use. And you can, uh, it's pretty cool because you can actually, you can automate a lot of tasks that you don't want to do. And the biggest thing is that while you're automating it, you get more exposure because it's starting to post a lot of your content around the net. So if you have a blog and you have an RSS feed, you can actually send that to Facebook and then you can create another one from Facebook to like send it to, like post a tweet and so on and so forth. Like if you make a YouTube video, then you can post it to Facebook and then from there you can post it to Twitter and then from there you can uh, post it to other uh, social media websites. So I hope you've uh, got a pretty good understanding from this today. And um, I will see you guys later.